What's happening, everybody? Saturday morning, uh, September the 7th, currently 50 degrees. We're here at the BP on M81 getting uh, five gallons of race fuel. We're going to test the old 87 GMC Jimmy this morning. They're supposed to be push, putting on a little cash days too, so I'm, I'm gonna make a couple hits. And, uh, and we're gonna probably enter that cash days if they got it, but fuel, the race fuel, $9.99 a gallon. Um, I'm just gonna pick up five gallons. Uh, I gotta get my card here. So we should be, uh, I think I got a half a tank of, uh, C16 already in the truck so we're going to get some fuel and uh, we got to pick Jenny up from work and load the truck up because as you guys can see out that way it rained and ugly all night and as of 7 o'clock this morning it was still raining and it's only 8.20 right now so I got to check the radar and Hopefully they don't call it. But it's supposed to be all cleared up and out of there. By nine o'clock they're saying. Where'd that go? Great, grand, wonderful. Starting to stay out good. <laughs> Can't lose that. Oh, great. Denied me. There we go. But anyways, I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know that we're, uh, if everything goes as planned, we're heading to Ubley to go do some uh, grud racing. Maybe get into a little cash days. At the very minimum, we're gonna test this new truck and uh, we're, we're gonna bring you along for the ride. So we'll get back with you soon.
got the missus from work, went home, got everything loaded up, and look behind us, we got uh, Two-Face heading to Ugly Dragway. We're going to do a couple test hits and uh, get comfortable with the truck. And like I said uh, earlier, that uh, Greg was talking about if enough people show up uh, and everybody's down, we're going to do a mini cash days. So that'd be pretty neat if I could uh, bring home some money first outing. But you never know. It's racing. But yeah, we're just uh, heading into Thumb. Jenny's taking the video with her brand new iPhone 15. Looks pretty Looks good. Looks another. Here comes a. Damn, dude. Turn and look at it. I thought he was somebody heading to the drag strip, but. Anyways, I'm not going to rumble a lot on this video. I just want to let you know we're heading that way. And uh, we'll bring you some racing content. I know it's been a minute, but like I said in the last video, that was one of the reasons I don't feel as bad getting the, rid of the El Camino. That way we can get back out doing this stuff. So we'll see you guys at the track. Well, it says about nine miles away. And look, I don't know if you can see on the windshield, but there's some sprinkles. And the high, it's only 53 degrees out. So I don't know what kind of day this is going to be. Are we going to be able, is there going to be enough heat in the track to even hook? The clouds are pretty dark. Jenny called me a puss. She told me to quit being a puss. I was like, you race on slicks in the water. Call me a puss. <laughs> <laughs> send it. Yeah, send it. You can't even drive on a freaking hook. Here it comes again. Sprinkles. I don't think you can see it. And take my word for it, my windshield's getting wet. The saying that it's supposed to, the wind's supposed to die down within a half an hour at noon. It's only 11:30, so hopefully this shit blows by because there, there ain't no way I'm gonna be racing in the rain, especially not being used to the truck. Not gonna happen. But we'll keep you up. You, you tell me you can't see all that rain on the windshield now? Oh, uh, yeah. I guess you can see a little bit in my camera. <laughs> oh, Christ. All yeah. right. Anywho. We're almost there. Well, we're here and un unloaded. The weather actually uh, calmed down a little bit. The wind's dropped a little bit. It ain't rained uh, or sprinkled since we got here, so that's good. Still only uh, 55 degrees, and it's one o'clock. And as you guys can see there, they're spraying the track right now. So hopefully uh, we get underway pretty soon. Oh, I ain't used to Jenny's new iPhone. But uh, I'm gonna make a couple shakedown runs, uh, NA. Just to get used to the truck, uh, I think that's a smart thing to do. And uh, we'll go from there. See how the... I took it down to the end of the track on the shutdown. And uh, got into it on second gear. And it just blew the tires off. Which, that was no burnout. And cold pavement. So, I was just going to... I was hoping maybe second gear would hook... All drivers to the concession stand. All right.
Sager? What do you think? I need to get it off the line better, but uh, that one was uh, 967 at 139.38. She was rolling. 620, 628, but I only did it 1760 foot because I can't hammer, hammer it right off the line and bring that 250 shot on. You got to get out a little ways. Like I said, I need to uh, get that nitrous into the MSD box so I can pull timing or pull activate the nitrous with RPM instead of just full throttle switch. I tell you what, it's a it's a ride. You better hold on.
right, as you guys can see, we got the truck off the trailer and pushed into the garage. We didn't fire it uh, because I want to check the plugs to make sure that the tune-up is good on nitrous because the last pass we made was on nitrous. And I went back and put it on the trailer immediately. So there is a little run time. I know you're supposed to let the truck, um, as soon as you make the pass, you're supposed to shut it off, pull it back. Well, we didn't do that. Uh, like I said, I made the pass, got the slip, and we loaded it on the trailer. So I want to pull the plugs and check them. But uh, we had a great time out there at uh, uh, the Bay City Car Meet Track Day. Truck ran great. Surprisingly, um, Ran pretty awesome on engine or on motor, and you turn the nitrous on, and it just makes this truck a whole totally different truck. Which the engine is built uh, for nitrous. You know, it, it runs good NA, but when this engine was built, it was built for nitrous. And there's, I got something in my eye. Excuse me. There's only a 250 shot on it. The engine will hold up to 500. I mean, like it's got the best of everything, like I've told you guys in the previous videos. But uh, as you guys can see in the clips of the video, um, I tried to use the trans brake on one race against my buddy Elky Dave. Congratulations on the win on that race, Dave. You gave it to me again. But I was having technical difficulties, but there's no excuses in drag racing. You know, anything can happen, anybody can win. And uh, Dave put it to me again on, with his El, 65 El Camino. Hats off to Dave. Um, but yeah, I, I pulled up to the line, guys, and uh, I put it on the trans brake. He came on the trans brake, and this was running each other NA. He was NA, I was NA. And uh, the truck was popping and banging on the two step like this. Light turned green, and I'm just sitting there. I was like, oh shit, I'm supposed to let go of the button. So when I let off the button, I let off the gas at the same time, and it was just, <laughs> it was embarrassing. Um, but we ran it through the other end anyway on, on motor, and uh, uh, it ran pretty decent. Not what it usually did. The first pass when we took it out, uh, the very first time that you've seen on the video, that was NA, and uh, it went mid-tens on, on motor, so... Um, I was very impressed. I got to have some more seat time to figure it out. As you guys can see in the videos, when I turned on the bottle, uh, me and Dave raced again, and the truck ran great. Um, thanks, Dave, for lining up next to me, uh, knowing that this is a new combination or a new build to me. Not a build, but a new vehicle. Um, Dave wasn't scared to get next to me. He knows I'm a driver. I know he's a driver. But uh, we had fun, so hats off to Elky Dave. Um, I appreciate that. But yeah, on the bottle, man, this thing, it rips. Uh, if you guys zoom in, you'll be able to see the times on the boards. Um, but I need to get uh, the 60 foot, 60 foot stuff. It ran faster to the 60 foot on motor than it did on nitrous. This truck will go um, low 1.3s to the 60 on the bottle. And I'm me driving it, it went 1.7. It went a 1.4, uh, think a mid 1.4 um, to the 60 on the motor. On the bottle, it went into the 1.7s, which <clears throat> it sucked. But uh, overall, we had a great time. We're at, we are taking it back for the Bay City Rollers race. And, uh, you know, I talked to my brother uh, that used to own the truck, and he gave me some pointers on how he launched the truck and... Uh, how, how to do it. Um, he said, don't be scared. He said, it pulls straight. Um, if it comes into a wheelie shift, which I already know that, but uh, he said, you know, because on the first nitrous pass, if you guys kind of look at it, it came up into a wheelie and, and went towards the wall a little bit. So I dropped the front end, you know, I let off the gas, got it straightened back up, and then hammered it again. And away we went. Um, I don't think I was lined up in the grooves right because Ubley's kind of a you know, there's there's a lane, so I don't think I was totally straight in the lane or something, because this truck does at least straight. Um, he carries the wheels out three foot past the 60 foot when he drives it, dead straight. Um, so, driver error again, but like I said, this was the first time ever out in the truck. The more I get used to it, I mean, he's owned the truck for 13 years, 
and um, uh, different, you know, it had different, I think three different engine combos in it. So he's used to this truck like the back of his hand, like I was used to the El Camino. So no excuses, I just messed up, I need more seat time. But we'll be bringing you guys back on the next video. I'm gonna, we're gonna go over some of the stuff that I'm gonna do to the truck before the Bay City Rollers race to help out the nitrous. I don't like leaving the line um, right away on the 250 shot. I mean, yeah, it's good for the, the 60 foot, um, but it's hard on stuff, um, in my opinion. I'd rather be able to use the trans brake, like I've said in the past video, um, and then bring the nitrous in, and I'm gonna do that through that MSD box. Now that I know it's pulling timing, the, the box is working correctly, so now I just gotta wire the nitrous in to the box, and I'll, that'll be on the next video, guys. But uh, as usual, I really appreciate everybody for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next video. All right. Bye-bye.